Hello YouTube, it is Tyler Schulte again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to restore your iPod Touch. Now, this is not going to be anything special, it's not going to be doing anything with blobs, but it's just going to be the traditional restore. I will post a link in the description on how to do an SHSH blob restore using Tiny Umbrella, but for now I'm just going to show you this restore. Now, you have two options. One, if you have already downloaded your restore file, or as many call it, your IPSW, you can hold the shift button on Windows or the alt button on Mac and click restore. And then you can choose one of the files you've downloaded. Now, if you have not downloaded your file and you want the latest version, then you can click check for update. Now, in this case, I already have downloaded my file. So I'm going to hold shift, click, and then click restore, and then click on my 4.1 restore file I've downloaded, and click open. Then it's going to verify the restore with Apple since it's not modified. So now it's going to be extracting the software, and it's going to start restoring my iPod Touch from 4.2.1 to 4.1. And I do not need blobs for this since it's going to 4.1. Any earlier than that, I will need blobs to restore my second generation MB. Alright, and it's now installing the driver, and it is done installing the driver. I'll hold this a little higher so you all can see it. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but my arm is getting kind of tired. So, I'm just going to monitor this StarCraft 2 download. Alright, it doesn't look like anything interesting is happening there. So, I'm just going to minimize that. We're just going to continue the wait. I'm going to switch hands real quick. It's been about two minutes. Alrighty. Oh man, I should probably close my blinds because right now it's causing kind of glare, but. Alrighty. There we go, that'll solve the glare problem if I tilt it forwards. Kitty, get off. Hang on, I'll be right back in two seconds. Ugh. I got kitty.
he was lying on my laptop bag right here. So I had to go and grab him. Okay, here's the iPod. Now that happy kitty is right here. Kitty, no, stay. Stay, kitty. No, kitty. Aw. Well, it looks like we don't have a friend anymore. So I'll just continue to hold this. Alright, and it looks like it's verifying the restore and should be done soon. Do 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 I'd play some really nice music to entertain you all, but all I have is some music that I'm not supposed to put on YouTube because apparently it's copyrighted and all that stuff. Alrighty, and it looks like we got the message that is completed and that the iPod is booting. Is booting. Uh, ooh, my music. I just really want to play some songs right now. Really want to play them. But I can't. Stinks. Leon. I'm practically about to go to sleep back here, so this better hurry soon. Something's happening. Yay! Looks like it's almost done. Just give it a while and it's recognized. Alright, now we're just gonna set this baby up and she'll be done. So we're gonna just set up his new iPod. Continue. Name. This is my mother's iPod, so I will call it. Mom's iPod. And then I will go to unclick those boxes. And there we go. We now have it on 4.1. Build A B117. Alright, it's finishing the sink. I do not want this here. So apply. Alrighty. And we are now done restoring. And so, that is how you restore an iPod Touch. Whether you're restoring to your previously downloaded file, or you are restoring and updating with Apple. So, thank you for watching this video. Link, subscribe, and thumbs up if it helped you. And goodbye.